The year is 2030, you're now a millionaire because you held Bitcoin through all the ups and downs and it's stored safely in your cold wallet. But suddenly you get an alert, a quantum computer powerful enough to hack any crypto wallet has just gone online, panic sets in and no one knows what to do. So how likely is this scenario to actually happen? Well, I spent hours researching how quantum computing could affect crypto wallets and I've come to a clear conclusion. It's definitely worth discussing, especially with the release of Google's new quantum chip, Willow, which is pushing quantum computing technology a lot further. So here's what we'll cover. What quantum computing is, how crypto wallets are at risk, how close we are to this becoming a reality, and what it could take to quantum proof our crypto wallets. So what is quantum computing? Well, to be honest, it's a really complicated topic. So I'm going to break it down into simple terms, basically the only way that I understand it and hopefully you kind of get what I'm saying. To understand quantum computers, first we need to understand how modern day computers work. So basically modern day computers use bits to represent information as ones and zeros. So if a computer now tries to solve, let's say a maze, it can only try one path at a time, step by step. But quantum computers, on the other hand, use something called qubits, and qubits can exist in a state called a superposition, allowing it to be both a one and a zero at the same time. So when a quantum computer tries to solve a maze, for example, it can try all the different possible paths at the same time versus that normal computer that can only try one at a time. So it's a lot more efficient at solving problems. That means quantum computers have the potential to break the current crypto graphic algorithms that are used to generate our keys, which are secured by our crypto wallets. And this applies to both hot and cold wallets, pretty much all wallets today. So it doesn't matter how secure your wallet is, if the actual algorithm used to generate the keys that are secured by these wallets is compromised. So what would it take for a quantum computer to hack our crypto wallets? Well, to understand that, we need to know how crypto wallets currently generate and protect our keys and why they are considered secure today. So different blockchain networks use different cryptographic algorithms to generate our keys because not all blockchain networks are created equally. For example, Bitcoin uses a different algorithm than Solana. Now, anytime you use a crypto wallet today, it supports thousands of different cryptocurrencies across multiple blockchain networks. And to create the master key, the seed phrase for that wallet, it uses a standard called BIP39. But once your seed phrase is created, unique private keys are generated for each blockchain that you interact with. So Bitcoin has its own private key, Ethereum has its own private key, Solana has its own private key. All the different networks that you manage in your crypto wallet all have their own unique private key and a lot of them have their own algorithm. Now here's the issue. None of the current cryptographic algorithm used to generate any of our private keys are considered quantum proof. So when that time comes that a quantum computer is powerful enough to break basically any of these encryption methods, all of our wallets will be at risk. For example, some of the most popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum use an encryption method called ECDSA or Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm. And these methods are extremely secure against today's computers at least. And the strength from ECDSA and similar algorithms comes from the fact that it's incredibly difficult to reverse the encryption process or to decrypt it. So in simple terms, it's practically impossible to figure out your private key from your public key. Usually your public key, also known as your wallet's receiving address, is completely safe to share so that people can send you crypto. It's kind of like a PO box, like you can give someone your PO box number and they can send you mail without actually giving them access to your PO box. But to unlock your PO box, you have a key that you use. Well, with crypto, that's your private key. For your receiving address, you need your private key to manage any crypto that is basically sitting at that receiving address. So if someone gets a hold of your private key, then they can steal your crypto because they have access to that address. And this is where Shor's algorithm becomes a potential threat. So Shor's algorithm is a quantum algorithm that can efficiently break down large numbers into their prime factors. And this is a big deal because encryption methods like ECDSA rely on the fact that factoring large numbers is nearly impossible for today's computers. So if there ever is a quantum computer that's powerful enough to to run Shor's algorithm, which is a real algorithm that exists today, then theoretically it could reverse the encryption process and learn your private key from your public key, which is a public address that pretty much everyone knows. So the big question is how close are we to this becoming a real threat? 
and what can we do to quantum proof our crypto wallets before it's too late? For years, the media has been talking about the impact quantum computing could have on crypto security. It feels like this topic pops up at least once a year, but so far nothing has come close to being an actual threat. However, with recent advancements like Google's new quantum chip Willow, the possibility is starting to feel more real. Quantum technology is advancing and it's worth asking, how soon do we need a solution to keep our crypto safe from it? I think the sooner the better. So to understand how close we are, we need to take a look at the current state of quantum technology. Let's use Google's new quantum chip for example. Recently it performed a benchmark computation in under five minutes, something that would take today's fastest supercomputer 10 septillion years to solve. And I know that sounds insane, right? But here's the thing. While it's impressive, it's still nowhere near powerful enough to break the cryptographic algorithm that secures our crypto. And to put this into better perspective, Bitcoin's ECDSA encryption could potentially be cracked by a quantum computer with around 1 million qubits. Right now, Google's Willow chip only has 105 qubits, and the world's largest quantum computer built by Atom Computing has just over 1,100 qubits. So while progress is being made, we're still a long way from quantum computers being an immediate threat to crypto security. And according to Jens Groth, director of UCL's Academic Center of Excellence in Cybersecurity Research and a cryptography expert, it could be 10 to 20 years before blockchains are truly at risk from quantum computing. While this definitely buys us some time, the reality is that the risk is gradually increasing as quantum technology advances. So a lot of crypto enthusiasts are wondering the same thing what's going to happen when we eventually reach this point. Fortunately, experts are already researching ways to keep our crypto wallets safe. One of these experts, Andreas Antonopoulos, acclaimed information security expert and author of Mastering Bitcoin, has already raised this exact question. He made a strong point about the overall threat of quantum computing, not just to crypto, but to cybersecurity as a whole. My question is uh, about security, and I've, I've listened to one of your talks about uh, quantum computing and you had said that we can assume that the NSA has quantum computing currently. So my, my question is, how can Bitcoin safeguard against quantum computing because once that's reached, they'll be able to essentially break into the wallets simultaneously? That, that's a very good question. Um, so quantum computing isn't a uh, on-off thing. <laughs> that's, that's a double pun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like you either have quantum computing or you don't have quantum computing. Um, the question is, how powerful is it? How many bits, how many qubits of quantum computing do you have? So the, the number of qubits you need to break um, the encryption that you have in wallets, the current set of encryption you have in most blockchains, uh, is far greater than even the wildest speculation of what might exist in intelligence agencies. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So all I'm saying is if the NSA has a quantum computer and they really want to not people not know that that quantum computer, which can also break all of the encryption keys on all of the nukes in the world, all of the communication keys and all of the nuclear subs and all of the military intelligence networks and all of the commercial networks, I don't think they're going to use it to break Bitcoin, if you know what I mean. What he's saying is that if quantum computing becomes strong enough to hack our crypto wallets, we'll have plenty of other things to worry about, probably more so than crypto. I'm talking about banking, the healthcare system, the financial industry, and even military. That said, he also pointed out that we'll still need major upgrades to Bitcoin and other networks to make them quantum resistant. And even then, not all wallets will be safe, especially if you're someone who's lost their keys. The real problem becomes when you have broad commercial availability of quantum computing, but not broad enough that all of us can use it in our wallets. And there's that interim period that's a bit awkward. And during that interim period, Bitcoin needs to change its algorithms. But one of the interesting things that happens is that while you can change the algorithms on all of the active wallets, some wallets have lost keys, or the people who had those keys are dead, and they can't change the signing algorithm, which means that those wallets will get captured by quantum computers. So one of the interesting things that happens is we will know when quantum computing exists when Satoshi's coins move. Thank you. That's one of the reasons they'll move. Eventually, they will move, and they'll move because someone will be able to break the keys. Um, but for the rest of the ecosystem, we can migrate quite easily to another algorithm. It's not really as big a threat as people think it is.
Looking ahead, the only real solution to keep our crypto safe is to upgrade the current algorithms that we're using. And this can be done by forking the network and then implementing a quantum resistant cryptography. And to do this, we'd probably have to use something known as a hard fork. A hard fork is when a blockchain makes a major change to its rules and the old version of the blockchain is no longer compatible with the new one. And this creates two separate blockchains, one that allows the old rules and one that follows the new rules with the new quantum resistant cryptography. That's why people who have lost their keys or who just simply can't access their wallet would be at highest risk of quantum computing affecting their crypto holdings because they wouldn't be able to upgrade their current wallet to the new algorithm. But I guess if you've already lost your crypto keys, then you're screwed already. So it doesn't really matter. The future is bright though. According to Groth, the defenders are winning this battle in the long run. Blockchain developers can increase the number of digits in the cryptographic keys that protect the chain from potential vulnerabilities like quantum computing. And this approach can scale faster than the rate at which quantum computing is advancing, providing a stronger defense against future threats. This is why I think it's definitely worth considering how we're going to create a quantum proof future for crypto. But for now, I don't think that should be our main concern. There are way more pressing threats to your crypto that you should be worried about right now. So check out these seven crypto security tips to figure out what they are and how to avoid them and let the experts worry about the quantum computer. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace out.